Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys 50 hidden features of the new iOS 11. So Apple has just introduced the first beta of iOS 11. They showed us quite a bunch of new features of iOS 11, but of course they couldn't show all of them. So here are 50 hidden features of the new iOS 11. New calculator app. The calculator app has completely been redesigned. So we had the same design for quite a while and now it's completely been redesigned. A new calculator app you can see with the circle buttons. It looks pretty awesome. You can finally customize the control center on iOS 11. So you go to settings, go to control center and here we'll have all the controls that you can add to your control center. So you have these ones right here that are disabled. You just tap the plus button to add one of them to the control center and you can also disable any of them and also you can rearrange them any way you like. The iOS 11 lock screen now has a new music widget. So when you're playing music, it won't take up the complete lock screen of your device, but it will show you just this widget right here, which shows you, of course, the controls and the now playing music. A cool new feature of iOS 11 is also the one handed keyboard. So you tap there and you can see it gives you the option to switch to the one handed keyboard on the left side or the right side so you can see the keyboard will shrink either way that you choose and you can use it easily with one hand. iOS 11 now has new video controls so you can see they look pretty awesome so you have the, the X button right there you have the button to exit the full screen also you can mute the volume from there and you have the new controls right here. A lot of us have waited for Apple to add the dark mode on iOS 11. They didn't quite do that, but now you will have a new option that basically will replace the dark mode. So you go to settings, go to general, go to accessibility. And when you go here to display accommodations, you will have invert colors. So we had that feature before, but now we have smart invert and this basically will add this dark mode to iOS. So it looks pretty awesome. You can see here the settings app. It looks pretty cool and it's the closer that the closest that we can get to a dark mode on iOS for now. On iOS 11, you can now finally move more than one icon at a time. So all you have to do is just press and hold, of course, one icon, just like you do normally to move an icon. Let me just dab there. Of okay, so all you have to do is just tap on the other icons that you want to move, and then you can go ahead and move them all together. The passcode screen has also been redesigned so you can see a new animation when the passcode screen comes on and also the buttons here won't have those lines around the circles of the buttons. It looks pretty awesome and much cleaner. Another feature that is very welcome is that the volume hood won't show when you're on full screen. So here I'm on a game, you can see the volume will turn up or it will turn down, but the volume hood won't appear and interrupt here in the middle of the screen. Another nice touch, which I believe makes the device look a little bit cleaner and nicer is the removal of the labels on the dock. So you can see right here, the icons on the dock won't have any labels. On iOS 11, you can now request the Wi-Fi passcode. So if someone is near to you and they have the passcode for that Wi-Fi, you can just go ahead and hold your device next to their device and you will get the passcode for that network. Another very useful feature has been added to the Maps app. It allows you to zoom with one hand. So all you have to do is just double tap and then just slide your finger up or down to zoom in or out on the maps. On the notification settings, now you will have here show preview. So you can go ahead and show always previews when unlocked or never. So you can choose here whether you want to see previews of the notifications or not. Another nice touch that has been added to the iOS 11 are the bars here at the, at the signal instead of the dots. You will have the old school bars just like on iOS 6. Another cool feature of the notifications are the banners. Now on iOS 11, you can choose between two different types of banners. So you will have the regular banners 
or you will you can have persistent banners which means that the banner will stay there until you dismiss it manually on ios 11 now if you go to settings and go to accounts and passwords here we'll have app and website passwords so you can go here and add a password so you can enter the website the username here and the password and you can save them here from the settings so the new section here app and website passcodes on the settings app now you will have a new section siri and search so if you go here you will have all the settings for siri and for search and you can also enable or disable it for any of the apps you will have the list of your apps right there on iOS 11, if you go to settings, go to general, if you scroll all the way down, you will have now a new option right here to shut down your device without going to, power, to the power down menu by holding the power button. You can go ahead and shut down your device directly from the settings app. With the new control center options, you can also add a screen recorder. So when you go to the control center of your device, you can go ahead and record the screen of your device directly from here so once you're done you come back to the control center tap back that same button and it will save that video to your camera roll on ios 11 we also have some redesigned icons on beta 1 we have just three of them so the calculator icon the app store and also the itunes icons have been redesigned we also have a new animation system-wide new animation so when you go to your app switcher or when you open an app when you close an app you will notice the animation will be way different than the animation on ios 10. on the settings app if you go to general and then you scroll down here to iphone storage you will have this new section here where it shows you the storage of your iphone how much you have used how much your apps are using and all that stuff so you will have a new section for the iphone storage in the settings app on iOS 11, when you go to your app switcher, you won't have a home card right here. So on iOS 10, you would see another card right here, which will be the home screen. But now on iOS 11, when you have all the apps, apps closed, you will have here just a blur screen. You won't have the home card there. On the weather app on iOS 11, you will see more details about the weather. So all you have to do is just swipe like this and it will show you all these details about the weather on that city. The screenshots on iOS 11 have been improved a lot. So when you take a screenshot, now it won't just save it, but it will show it down here. So when you tap it, you can go ahead and you can crop it any way you like or you can go ahead and write something on it so it's pretty cool and then just click done and it will save it to the photo library on ios 11 when you go to the settings of a wi-fi network you will have an option here to enable auto join or disable it if you don't want to auto join that network whenever it's in range on the new control center of ios 11 you can force touch here or tap on the brightness to bring it to full screen mode so when you bring up the brightness right here you cannot just adjust the brightness but you can as well turn on night shift from here so you will have that button to turn on night shift a very nice touch on the ios 11 has been added also to the switches so you can see right there they will have this line or this circle based whether they are turned on or off so a very nice touch there to the switches on the settings app so before they were just green or white and now you will have those little icons on the settings app when you go to background app refresh now you can choose here background app refresh on wi-fi or wi-fi and cellular data or you can just turn it off from here so you will have this new section on the settings app you will also have a new section here for emergency sos so you can enable auto call for emergency sos right here and of course you can set up the emergency contacts in health by tapping here on ios 11 from the lock screen right here you can press five times quickly on the power button to show an option to call the emergency so one two three four five and here it will show you this slider of course you can power off your device or you can call emergency from right there 
We also have a new animation when unlocking your device so this screen won't just fade onto the, into the home screen but you can see it will kind of slide up a very cool animation for unlocking your device. On the phone app on iOS 11, when you tap a number, you will have the back button down there. So it used to be here and you will have a plus sign right there to add it as a number, but now you will have that right here and you will have the back button down here. iOS 11 has also a bolder font here on the icons on the home screen and on the app basically system wide, you will have a bolder font. We have also a minor change here on Safari when you're loading a page you can see the blue line won't show all across this screen but it will show only here where the web address is so you will have a smaller blue line here on Safari when you're loading pages. On iOS 11 you can now type to Siri so here's how you do that. You go to settings, go to general, go to accessibility and find Siri right here. And what you need to do is just enable here type to Siri so whenever you invoke Siri it will give you the option to type anything. On the settings app where you go to any of your apps so for example if you go to mail or contacts or calendar you will have here an option to configure Siri and settings for that app so you can enable search and Siri suggestions or you can also for example here for the contacts you can enable or disable find contacts in other apps so you will have Siri and search settings to configure for every particular app. A new section on the settings app is also the accounts and passwords so if you go here you will have all your, all your accounts right there so you can manage the accounts and the passwords from right here. On iOS 11 you can also scan QR codes using the camera of your iPhone so if you go to settings go to camera here we'll have the option to enable scan QR codes. On iOS 11 now you can take live photos on the FaceTime so you can enable that from the settings of FaceTime just go to settings go to FaceTime and from there you can enable live pictures. The news app has also been redesigned on iOS 11 and now you will have a new section here the spotlight so here is the spotlight on the news app. On iOS 11 Apple has finally added a much needed toggle on the control center the cellular data as you can see it right there from the control center you can turn on or off the cellular data. Another new feature that I have noticed on the apps, on the stock apps on iOS 11 is that they all have these kind of titles so here if you go to messages you will have messages here written in that big bold text also you can find that on the phone app here or the favorites or the settings app and probably a lot of or maybe if not all the stock apps of iOS 11. The wallet app on iOS 10 also got a new touch so here is the wallet app it has been slightly redesigned it has now a lighter theme rather than the dark theme that it had on previous iOS versions. On the settings app if you go to safari here you will have more privacy options so you will have the option to try to prevent cross site tracking and also you can go ahead and enable ask website not to track me so you can enable them right here. On iOS 11 we have also a new feature for the keyboard so when you're typing you can enable smart punctuation and you can do that by going to settings go to general then go to keyboards and here we'll have smart punctuation and you can go ahead and enable it from here. On the settings app when you go to your photo settings now you can go ahead and reset the people album from here so right now I don't have any pictures on this device so it doesn't give me this option but you can go ahead and reset the people's album. The toggles of the new control center now have some cool animations so you can see when I turn on the Wi-Fi it will have that cool an animation until it gets connected or if you turn on like for example here lock portrait in portrait mode you can see it has that little bounce they have now some cool animations. On the settings app when you go to your privacy now here, here you will have a new section called analytics so 
Here you will have all the analytics, you can share them, you have analytics data and all that stuff here on the privacy settings, this new section called analytics. So here's something Apple did mention, but only for the iPad, but it's on the iPhone as well. And it's the new files app. So this app will now replace the iCloud drive app and you will have the files app instead of that app. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed all these new features of the iOS 11. Make sure you subscribe for more videos. Also, don't forget to follow me on my social media. You will find the links in the description of the video.